look great and you guys are always so creative and awesome with your music. What makes you excited about this year's VMAs? I mean, there's so much creativity, so many new artists, their videos. What are you guys excited about today? We just want to come and see what everyone's doing and check it out because we've been, our heads have been down, we've been working a lot and um, I think it's nice to kind of come to like a real industry event to just kind of mingle and meet people and we're really just looking to have a good time. Yeah, it's going to be fun to see the, you know, the J-Lo honoring and all the videos you've done and yeah, see some live performances, it'll be fun. I mean, you guys obviously are performers, and you always come back um, to Afro Punk, which is in Brooklyn, here in New York. Yes, I know you guys will be there. What also brings you guys back to Afro Punk? That's another, you know, festival that's so creative, full of so much life. What brings you guys back to Afro Punk all the time? I mean, Afro Punk is like our festival. It really feels like home. Um, we've been attending just as people for years, so the fact that we play there and now we played in Atlanta for them, in Paris, and hopefully we'll go to South Africa. It's just a, a family of fair it really yep. just like we actually know the community that has started it and then just the the message is so in line with what we do just kind of expressing yourself being comfortable with yourself um, being comfortable in your skin and just like going for it that's what we try to do that's what we try to inspire so it's very in line with us definitely yeah you know we love Avapunk like Jill said we've been we've been going since before Lime Babe was even a thing so for now to be like you know performing there and yeah, you know, going there, all the bands you're playing, you always see everyone you know, and it's always like nice to see your friends. And yeah, yeah. You guys always bring the energy. You guys always bring it. I love it. Um, you know, again here at the VMAs, do any of the artists here inspire you guys creatively? Because I mean, you've got so much. You guys are so unique, and I love it. There's so many people to pull from. Anybody that you listen to now that kind of inspires you guys, makes you guys get into a creative mood. Um, let's see. I don't know. I mean, I, I think there's so much just different stuff, and I'm I'm like an old school person, so whenever I hear new stuff, usually shown to me by this guy, um, it's just interesting to see what's like going on and what people are into. But I'm definitely trying to like open my mind to things, and and even if it's like you know just like ad libs are huge right now, so I'm like in my own head, I'm like let me just do more ad libs and songs and try stuff, and um, yeah, I just I just like how people are. I feel like everyone's kind of stepping a little bit out of their comfort zone, which is inspiring. We should we should all be doing that. You mentioned being an old soul. You know, we just had one of our legends pass, unfortunately. But um, for you guys, what are your thoughts on the legacy that you know that she leaves behind as musicians? Um, you know, one dreams of having a voice like that, and just the effortlessness of it all is just something that. I really appreciate and, and as a singer um, and I, I met her when I was really really little at, at a recording studio with my dad and, and I just remember being like awestruck so she really did have that presence um, and yeah I just think someone who not only stood for what she did and, and never really was anyone else except herself and you could tell that that's who I want people to see us as we are ourselves and we're not trying to be anyone else and hopefully you'll remember my voice for, for times to come and his music. Uh, yeah, you know, Aretha, just the ma impact she's made on music, the whole sound, like, across the board is so huge. You know, everyone, I think, on some level has definitely been influenced by her, whether it was her or her record being used in someone else's record. You know, she's touched so much. So, um, yeah, you know, it's definitely a big piece of it all.